If you don't know what foreskin restoration is, watch this video. It's a video that I made about foreskin restoration. It goes through the various methods, why you should restore, how it works, and so on and so forth. But to just give you a little summary, if you haven't watched that video yet and you want to continue here, it's basically using skin expansion on your outer skin, on your penis, and your inner skin, so that you get enough skin to cover the glands. In that video, I also go through why the Manta Restore is the best device on the market for restoring your foreskin. Now, I believe this because of a few reasons. And although I go through it in that video, I also want to shortly go through all of this because I know that many people in the foreskin restoration community might not know about these things. Now, one of the most popular methods is inflation. The thing with inflation is that you're also getting outward expansion. So, the diameter, the circumference of the skin that you're creating is going to be larger than if you were to only use methods that tension in the y-axis, so to speak. How about manuals? Well, manuals are a complete waste of time if you have a device. If you don't have a device, then you're, they're your best bet because you don't have anything else to do. But if you have a device, then manuals are a complete waste of time. Why? Well, how are you going to get 8 to 12 hours of tension in a day using your hands. You can't, unless you sit in your room and you tug on your shaft skin for the entire day, really. The method that gives people the most rashes, the most problems, the most skin problems, the most irritation is T-taping. Why? Because tape is toxic. It contains adhesives, and adhesives are made from toxic chemicals. If you put that on your skin, your skin is going to take damage, and you want your skin to grow. Toxic chemicals will inhibit skin growth. What we're left with is dual tension methods and tugging methods. Now the difference here is that the dual tension uses this system that the mantor uses. So when you trap your skin, your shaft skin, under this gripper right here, you screw this thing and this pulls or pushes your glands down, you see? So your skin is trapped here and you're pushing the glands down. So you're pushing the glands down and your skin is staying over here so you're going to get tension in both directions this will stretch your inner skin and your outer skin at the same time tugging is basically the same thing but not really you see you trap your skin under this gripper okay but imagine that this thing is completely gone and you've got something attached over here that basically pulls so you trap your skin here under a gripper and then you just pull that is tugging you can use weights you can use a strap La -di -da -di -da. The reason why dual tension is much better is because you're stretching your inner skin too. So if you're tugging, you're only getting outer skin growth, usually. But if you're using dual tension, you can even focus on outer skin or inner skin depending on how you put it on. Alright, so if we compare dual tension with tugging, well with tugging you get outer skin growth and you have to have a strap or a weight on. And usually this is going to be a strap because a weight is a bit inconvenient, you're gonna see it. But if you use a strap, you're going to be able to hide it in your pants. Now, how about instead of tugging, we do dual tension? Well, then you get inner skin growth and outer skin growth, and you don't have to use a strap. This thing just hangs from your dick. And that's it. You don't need to attach anything unless you want to tug together with this thing. So now a distinguished gentleman like yourself probably realizes that the question is which dual tension device is the best? Because remember, if you buy a dual tension device, you can also tug with it. And this method is superior to all other methods, at least according to me. The most popular dual tension devices are the TLCX, the Mantor Restorer, and the DTR. Now there are people who have had a combination of these, the Mantor Restorer and the DTR, the Mantor Restorer and the TLCX, and when I've read about what their opinion is basically on Reddit, they always say that the Mantor Restorer is the most comfortable dual tension device. Some people say that it's the most comfortable device they've ever used. Now I've only used the Mantor Restorer. So I can only tell you about the Mantle Restore, but so far it has been absolutely amazing. All the parts that actually touch your dick are very, very soft. So people generally have problems with the pusher pad. They, they tend to say that it puts a lot of pressure on the glands and then when they take it off, you know, they've got marks and all of that stuff. With the Mantor, you don't get that at all. A concern I had about the Mantor was that the grippers would, you know, inhibit circulation. And this concern came from the fact that when I've done manuals, I've experienced pain on the left side. And therefore I've done them very softly and therefore I don't really get a good stretch. When I use the Mantor, however, 
there was no circulation issues at all there's no pain at all if you leave it on high tension for a while then you'll start to feel something if you've got the same situation that i have with manuals and if you just take it off for like two minutes and then put it on again that's completely gone and remember this is only when you use very high tension you might be wondering will it give me more skin and of course it will this isn't really about will it give me skin or not of course every device will give you skin if it tensions the skin it's just that how convenient is it at doing that and before i end this review i just want to show you the device itself so here you can see the pusher pad the thing that actually pushes down your glands once you unscrew this and you do this so it's like this originally then you screw this up and then you do this and then you see it pushes down the glands and since your skin is trapped over here it's going to create tension in both directions as you can see this thing is super soft it is super soft and that's why i can't feel my glands down there it's super comfortable you won't have any glands irritation at all trust me and then here you have the grippers that are amazing this is how it flips up bam and then you roll your skin up here the skin that you do have and then bam clamp it down and then it is originally like this and then you unscrew this once your skin is here bam and then you apply the tension that you want see this will push your glands in and then you close it and then as you grow more skin or it becomes more stretchy you just go up and up and up and then you can change the rod this part right here which is unscrewed and then you unscrew the pusher pad is it this way yeah it's this way yep and then that comes off and then here's the main body you just pull out this thing and if you want to change the rod you just you just unscrew this until this guy goes all the way here and then you put this guy in in another rod that is longer you know to accommodate more skin growth and then you just put it in again and then you screw this on again boop, 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 until it locks on and there you go it's super easy to use it might look intimidating but it really isn't this is the direct stretch model as you can see it's got rubber bands here so the thing is when you use it when you stretch when you push your glands in this thing has rubber bands over here and since you know your skin is here and your glands is over here th this main body thing is going to be pushed down if you hook these bands over here to these things right here these these wedges then it's going to pull this thing up so there's going to be no distance between the green thing over here and the gripper so then you'll get more tension and you'll also be able to target different areas so let's say you want more tension on this side then you can well in this case unhook these two sides and then only have this side so you'll get more tension in this direction lastly i just want to say that i'm not going to get any air devices i'm not gonna get any other devices if this breaks i'm getting the mantor and if this doesn't break i'll keep using it and i'll keep using it and i'll keep using it until i get the amount of skin that i need all you need is one device and in my opinion this is the best device on the market thank you wrong outro i'm sorry uh, go and achieve excellent health and more shaft skin i know you can do it